Um, and beg. And um, congratulations to my, my colleague from Rotherham and Hamilton for securing this very important debate. And I have to say this is my first time speaking since my rather extended absence. So it's a, um, it's a, a good subject. Time. Could I, on behalf of everybody in this room and in the House, welcome her back, say that we're delighted to see her in such good shape. We were very sad about the, uh, the difficulties in the, 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 the long period of recovery she had to go through, but she's very welcome back in this House. Yeah. And I thank the Minister for being that gracious. He may not be quite so gracious by any time he's there. I don't think the government has grasped how disastrous the ESA assessment system is. It's not something that can be fixed by a few tweaks here and there, and we tried that with the hiring to review, but from what you've heard already here today and the dispatches and panorama programmes, which were actually filmed in June of this year, suggest that not much has changed. And the people complaining are not just the usual suspects. They're not just the radical crips, the, the work shy, those who want money without being assessed. These are ordinary people, most of whom have worked hard all their lives until their sky fell in and they lost their job because of an illness or an acquired disability. It is not enough for government to say that the genuine claimant has nothing to fear. They are the genuine claimant. In too many cases, they are scoring no points in the initial assessment. There is something fundamentally wrong with the system and the contract ATOS is delivering. When the BMA votes at their conference that the WCA is not first fit for purpose, there is something wrong with the system. When GPs are reporting an increased workload, not just in providing reports, but from patients whose condition has worsened as a result of their WCA experience, yeah. there is something wrong with the system. When my constituent who has lost his job because he has motor neuron disease scores zero on his WCA and found fully fit for work, there is something wrong with the system. And when that same constituent appears in front of a tribunal and in less than five minutes is awarded 15 points, there is something wrong with the system. When people with rapidly progressive illnesses are not automatically put in the support group, there's something wrong with the system. When some people would rather do without the money to which they are absolutely entitled rather than submit to the stress of a WCA, there is something wrong with the system. And when someone with a set a severe illness has to fight for a year through an appeal to get the correct benefit only to be called in almost immediately for another assessment there is something wrong with the system mm -hmm. and then the recall and the assessment all happens uh, the following year and the following year there is something wrong with the system mm -hmm. and when people feel this persecuted there is something wrong with the system and then to top it all, they lose their contributory ESA after only a year if they're in the RAD group. When up to 40% of appeals are successful and there's no penalty for the company carrying out the assessments, there is something wrong with the contract. When so many appeals result in an award of ESA support group when original assessment was no points, there is something wrong with the contract. When there is no penalty for a high percentage of wrong decisions, there is something wrong with the contract. When there is no incentive for assessors to get the assessment correct first time, there is something wrong with the contract. It is time for the government to act because there is something fundamentally wrong with this whole system. Yeah.